Hi, Seriousness here, back on our answer to Mentions New Game Minus 4 video, episode 19. And it's been a few days since last episode. I have E5 Galaxy points in hexadecimal. So you can see just how much these upgrades are doing. And I should probably go on a long run because, yeah, it's been a while since I've gone on a long run. Also, I have so many Galaxy points that I should probably be able to, like, let's say, like, like, get all of these to 0.10, and then probably get, honestly, like, a ma I probably want a 64 times bulk purchase on every auto buyer. So, this isn't even all that expensive. So, yeah, and also maybe automatic galaxies, I could even do like this. Just get that down to the minimum. Um, get 64 times bulk purchase on these. And then um, I can even get this, even though it doesn't really matter uh, much. I'm just going to get it anyway. And I think at this point, I want to just disable like some of the auto bars, such as the automatic galactic sacrifice, automatic tick speed boost, and automatic time dimension boost, to try to see how far I can get. So I have four galaxies here. And I think this means, um, yeah, I can buy max tick speed boost. I almost forgot about that. I probably want to get, let's see. I have 13 dimension, 14 dimension boost. My, wait, I'm already at 108th dimensions. I didn't realize that. Wow. Okay. Um, I mean, these upgrades must have really helped. I can get 14 time dimension boosts, and I need EB3 antimatter to get the next galaxy. And there's an achievement, is this one. It's get the first dimension multiplier over that. And it has a reward, but it's weak. It's... First dimensions are 5% stronger. So, yeah, I, I, with this, I can get 16 tick speed boosts. I feel like I'm going to be able to reach, like, you see, like, the bar at the bottom here? I feel like it's going to be able to reach 100%, like, very soon. So, I'm also willing to go over 16 here. It, it went over 16, which is a little unfortunate, but it's not that bad. I can get all the way up to 14 time dimension boosts, and probably even more, because now it's 15. Um, let's see, can I get 16? There, there's another dimension boost. It's also, I'm also getting more galaxy points per minute from a long run, but it's still not all that many galaxy points. Um, I probably do want this, um, these two tick speed boosts. Um, even though they're resetting everything, I, it's, it's worth it because I, has, it hasn't been that long since, like, the, the last, or has, it hasn't been all that long since... Or it, I don't, I'm not, don't need to push super far, that's what I mean. So, right now I have 16 dimension boosts and 16 time dimension boosts. I could try to get another time dimension boost and it may be better, but I'm deciding not to. I need ED2 antimatter to get 138 dimensions. I feel like 130 is about the limit I should, or I'll be able to get. I should probably also turn off the dimension boost auto buyer because... Often it's not the best choice to make. I probably would rather get the two tick speed boosts because that will actually that'll actually be better. So um, yeah, get this. Um, yeah, the tick speed boosts are, are just stronger for. Um, yeah, I, I I have to do this. Maybe I should. Except it's it's buying max here. So yeah, like the tick speed boosts are stronger, but they give less galaxy points. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll get as many of these as I can. Even if it's resetting dimension boost, I don't even care. Because I'm just trying to get as far as I can here. So 16. That means I'll be able to get 16 and then 17. Um, which resets everything, but at this point I can get like a couple more time dimension boosts than regular dimension boosts. I'm even going to go for 18 here. And yeah, that's I, I can get almost 2,000 tick speed upgrades. That That's how crazy it is. At this point and 16 dimension boost this is where things um slow down a little i do want the 17th however so um it's only ed3 antimatter and you can see i can get a decent bit of galaxy points but it actually really isn't all that much um i think what i really want to do i want to get this to 100 percent. it's at 83 percent right now which i think a sense of like you've seen, if you've seen the other, like Enter Dimension New Game minus X mods, 
you've noticed that like I can like often I'm up to like ninety percent and I just have to wait a day to get that to a to a hundred percent. So I'm already up to D four antimatter. I could I could try to get D B to get another time dimension boost, but I don't think I really need it. I think yeah, it'll it'll be pretty um yeah, it won't won't be too bad to reach E three or E E three to get a sixth galaxy. Which allows me to um, just get more Tixie boost and just get um, just get more everything. So yeah, this this is actually pretty exciting. I, I'm I'm actually getting close to infinity. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, so it's been a day and um, I have six antimatter galaxies and for whatever reason the antimatter galaxies are remote antimatter galaxies, which are which normally happens in the base game, like near the end game. And um yeah, I have no idea. It's essentially a galaxy cost scaling. I have no idea why this exists, because the galaxies aren't even that powerful. Like, it, it makes this go up by 0 0.04, which, bar which is not... It's barely anything. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm just, I'm just going to dimension boost as much as I can. Tick speed boost, dimension boost. Just get as much of everything as I can. And then, yeah, time dimension boost. I, I want to get that up to 13. And then I can um, get dimension boost. I can even get tick speed boost at 17. Can I get it at 19? I think I can get, it goes all the way to 21 before it resets anything. So I can even get, yeah, I can probably get up to 21 here. If I just get this, yeah, there, there is 21. I should pretty easily be able to get, um, I think that's 17 dimension boosts. So that means I want, I can go, I can easily get up to 17 time dimension boosts. I'm probably even willing to go 18, which resets dimension boost, but that's okay. I'm, I'm really trying to get this percentage to infinity to 100%. So if you, even if it's resetting stuff like that, that's still okay. And then I think the next thing I want to do is get 19 time dimension boosts and see if this, um, hopefully this will, um, help things further because again, I'm, I'm, re I'm really close to, um, yeah, this is really close to 100%. So you can see how many tick speed upgrades I'm getting. I'm, I'm getting over 2,000 of them. And yeah, at this point, it's going to just get slower and slower with each um, additional reset. And also, I think this is where tick speed boosts start actually resetting everything else, which I'm not sure if I want to do. I feel like I may actually reach, like, get to 100% here without doing anything else. So, yeah, that's that's actually pretty exciting because this means that I've all, I've almost I've almost done it. I could try to do one more regular dimension boost, which may be a good idea. I'm I'm not not sure if that really is. Um, and there's, you know, what, I'm I'm gonna t I'm gonna take sweet boost because. Even though, like, this is this may be a little bit slow in the short term. It's it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna win long run. So yeah, here we go. Tick speed boost to twenty three. It resets everything. It even I think it even resets time dimension boost, which that's why I'm especially wary of it. With just with time dimension boost, it just resets dimension boosts, which I can buy max of. So it isn't all that bad. But the time dimension. Um, boost um, getting reset along with time with with regular dimension boosts is yeah it, it's definitely not ideal so here I, I'm, I'm getting another time dimension boost I can I probably again want to go to 19 time dimension boosts just so I can just maximize the amount of antimatter I'm getting and it's also um, it's helped that I've been in this long this run for a while because it's a 93 times boost to all dimensions there so yeah, here we go I, this may be the final time dimension shift i get because i think it's gonna be pretty easy to to reach even like 18 dimension boosts and i feel like that should be the last reset i don't i don't think it's worth it getting any more tick speed boosts because then it would just 
take a long time to get back to like where I I was before. So yeah, um, yeah. Just want this last um, dimension shift. The next time dimension shift is um, E E eight, which I probably don't want to get because I I don't uh, resetting the eighteenth dimension boost is just gonna take a while. So yeah, I I feel like if I just wait um, like a good amount of hours, I will be able to this will I will be able to reach the next mechanic when this reaches a hundred percent. Also, one last thing about. Um, next episode, uh, where I'm definitely going to reach um, this 100% here, that's going to be a live stream. So, yeah, hype. So, yeah, I'm sorry if this episode was a little boring or uh, short, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. <laughs>